This is an acrylic wash or a shade. These types of colors are used to create a depth effect by darkening the recesses and leaving the rest. If you want to paint large areas or objects, this can get expensive. For example, this pot from Games Workshop costs about 6 euros, depending on where you buy it. So why not make your own wash? And I show you how. No, not that kind of homemade wash. And what you need. And don't worry, it's not really a witchcraft. Even if you don't follow the instructions 100%, as you will see. So, first you need a suitable storage option. For example, a dropper bottle, in my case, a 100 milliliter. Of course, you need the element of life, some water. If you want to be on the safe side, get distilled water. For terrain, I use my homemade washers, so tap water is sufficient for me. Now you need some acrylic medium. In my case, I have all ingredients from the company Liquitex. To break the surface tension from the water, you need some flow improver or some rinse aid. Also from the company Liquitex. And now, last but not least, you need some colors. And in this case you need inks. In our case we try to emulate the wash Nuln oil, so we of course need black and some brownish raw amber. Great, let's get started. And now to the recipe. In my case at 100 milliliter I use a raw 50-50 mix of water and medium. Of course first shake everything you have. Uh, I mean the ingredients. So I filled up the measuring cup with about 40 ml of medium and 40 ml of water. And a tiny bit more. Why not? Now add some drops from your flow aid or dishwasher or whatever you have to break the surface tension from the water. Uh oh, I, I think that was too much, maybe? Uh, anyways, so uh, let's move over to the inks. And in our case, for the Nuln Oil recipe, I used a total of 30 drops of black ink and then another four full pipettes of the black ink. But no problem here, if you don't like the color afterwards, you can just drop in another few pipettes or drops from another ink. And now exactly 5 drops of the brown ink, just for the feeling. So here's where the fun begins. It's time to fill up the bottle. Uh, oh crap, I forgot to stir. Uh, let's hope this will work, I, I'm not sure. Okay, now it's official. I think I screwed up. Uh, yeah, I I really screwed up. I tried with a toothpick to get everything inside the bottle, but um, it really doesn't work. Um, now I yeah yeah okay. Now I was uh, getting really pissed uh, off and just wanted to get this done, but um, yeah. I had to go another way. Let's get some extra water. Why not? It, it's, it really doesn't matter at this point. Maybe a tiny wood stick could help to get this flow. Okay, now I finally made it and uh, got everything inside the... Ah! drop a bottle and uh, you see I created a little bit of mess um, but yeah it's okay it trust me it will work as designed yeah cleaning everything up and now leave my desk with a mess mm, no <laughs> not that a big of a deal but yeah give everything a good shake 
And then we go on, but uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to be that hard. And here we have our final product, compared to the original one. Oh, yeah, original one. Yeah, whatever. And an involuntary test subject. Yeah, some kind of battle sister or whatever. Come over here, my little pellet. So, let's compare this two. Again, give everything a good check and now we slop it onto this uh, kind of plastic thingy I've got around and maybe get a new brush. This is uh, not the color we want. So, okay, finally let's uh, slop some Nalen oil on this and let's see how it looks. As you can see, the Nalen oil is uh, really runny. It uh, don't stay where where we put it. But now let's try our own homemade mixture. Again, give everything a good shake and put some drops on the palette. Yeah, and now let's compare these two bad boys. As you can see, this is really runny. Oh, oh my goodness. I, I, I thought I put a little bit too much flow improver in it. But um, yeah, we will see. Now, back to the lady. Okay, sweetie. Let's paint one half with our own mixture and the other half with the original Nalen oil and let's see how it looks. And it is very, very runny on the flat surface areas. As you can see, it doesn't really stick to the flat surfaces and only runs into the recesses and really, really runs. Oh my god, I, I think I have to lay it down flat to dry, to let it dry. But let's now compare it with the original Nalen oil. Let's just swipe the brush off with the old one, with the own one. Okay, slop, slop, slop. Everything in Nalen oil. And as you can see, the Nalen oil darkens down even the flat areas. So, okay, let's have a closer look. Okay, here you can really see the Nalen oil darkens down all the flat areas and our homemade wash didn't, but it, it r runs down like a uh, rain gutter. But honestly, not too shabby. <laughs> really not too shabby for homemade wash. It's pretty good and if you only use it for terrain building or large objects this might be okay for you. So at this point I decided to slop all over the battle sister with our homemade wash and let's see how it looks. Yeah, I had to um, put away some of the pooling and please forgive me my bad camera handling. I could not get the focus on the model, but anyways, let's have a look at the final result when the model has completely dried. Yeah, I would say it's, it's pretty damn good. What do you think? Um, just leave me a comment. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.